What the fuck was that? Scott anxiously questions. You think I know? Charlie inquires. That was Sam. I'm not sure how, but it was them. Can't get me out of your head, can you, Charlie? Sam's demonic voice asks. No, 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 no. This isn't happening. You haven't stopped thinking about me, have you, love? Leave me alone! Charlie, it isn't real. Listen to me, baby. It's all just a bad dream. Bad dream? Bad dream? Who the hell are you to tell me about bad dreams, Scott? No, baby. I'm sorry. I, I just meant... Fuck! This isn't happening! Scott sighs. It's happening, all right. Dodd responds. Scott looks in the rearview mirror to see a black mist forming in the back seat. The misty versions of Sam and Dodd appear, causing him to swerve off the road. He quickly pulls over and jumps out of the driver's seat and pulls Charlie out of the passenger seat. The two of them run through the nearby trees in order to escape the monsters that they're facing, but to no avail. With every strike of a tree branch across their bodies, there is Sam or Dodd waiting for them. Charlie trips over a fallen tree branch, causing the two of them to fall. Scott lands on the ground with his hands out in front of him to catch himself. Charlie, on the other hand, rolls down a small hill, causing her to slam against a tree. One of the branches penetrates her left shoulder. She cries out in pain, just as Scott runs down the hill to rescue her. Holy shit! Scott exclaims. I'm fine. They're trying to kill us, Scott. You are not fine, Charlie. My god, why the fuck is this happening? We didn't even do anything wrong! We left them behind, Scott. We didn't even try to save them. This isn't going to go away anytime soon. We left them because they were dead. They were gone, and we were fighting for our lives. It's not our fault that we were able to make it to safety. It's not our fault that we hadn't known the dangers of going camping. All four of us were responsible for what happened, so whatever the fuck those things are cannot blame us for that. Scott manages to wiggle the tree branch out of Charlie's shoulder, where he picks her up like he had the night he rescued her from the camp monster. He holds her tightly to his chest as he walks further and further into the trees. After a while of passing some familiar scenery, Scott stops and places Charlie on her feet. This... We're just going around in circles. That's impossible. We've been in these woods our entire lives. Are we... Are we in a fucking maze? I... What? Don't be silly. There aren't any mazes around here. Charlie shakes her head. Then why the fuck are we back at the tree that you got impaled on? Charlie looks at the tree in front of them. Sure enough, her blood is still dripping off the branch that had gone through her shoulder. She shakes her head once more. None of this is making any sense. They knew these woods like the back of their hands. There weren't any mazes around this area. And they sure as shit should have been out of the trees a couple of hours ago. Charlie squats down and buries her head in her hands and begins to sob. First, she hears the distorted version of Sam's voice. Then, she sees Sam, or what looks like Sam, and now she's lost in the woods with her boyfriend while being hunted down by her friend and ex-boyfriend. What the fuck was happening? Were they really in a maze? Were they unwilling participants in some fucked up game? Three people stand in a small room, just a mile away from where Charlie and Scott are, their eyes focused on the computer monitors hanging on the wall. They hand each other money after listening to what the couple is saying. They weren't supposed to find out that they're stuck within a maze and have no chance of escaping. Alas, they figured it out, yet what is to come may make this seem like the least of their worries.
social media can be very unpredictable, especially regarding horror content. If this content gets removed, all new content will be simultaneously presented on various websites provided in the description to this video. Make sure to follow me in other digital spaces so that you never miss out on the terror. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment and hit the like button. It helps the channel a lot. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy what's here, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Writing is a dream of mine, and it's all of you that make that dream come true.